Well, God bless you all. You are listening to Hope Now. This is your host, Wendell PLA. And as always, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be able to share the Word of God with you. And I encourage you to get your mind and heart prepared to receive whatever God has for you. And to just become like a sponge and soak in whatever wisdom and knowledge that God wants to pour in you as you're listening. And I believe that no matter what you're going through right now, God will cause you to hear what you need to hear that will help you to rise above your circumstances. And today, I want to talk about the power of our praise. You see, beloved, there's tremendous power when we praise God. There's power when we sing songs and dance before Him. The Bible says we are to enter His gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and to enter His courts with praise. And now it's very easy to praise God when everything is going right in our lives. It's not difficult to sing for him songs of joy when the sun is shining. But what about when the bottom falls out? What about when everyone is hating on you? That's when we need to dig our heels in and make the decision to praise God anyway, even when it's hard, because that shows God we're honoring him. And you see, God is not moved by our situation. God is not moved by our tears. He sees our tears, but that's not what moves him. The only thing that moves the hand of God is our faith. And when we praise God, no matter what we're facing, it proves to God that we're faithful. And that same faith and praise will activate his awesome power, and he will move on your behalf. The Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that means that no matter what difficulty or blessing you are experiencing, we are to give God praise. And the word also says to call the things that are not as though they were. And praise says, God, even though I'm in a difficult situation, I know your deliverance is on the way. Praise says, even though I'm sick right now, I know that my God will heal me. Even though I'm in debt right now, I know that God is about to set me free and take me into a place of super abundance. And praise says, even though it hasn't happened yet, I'm going to dance as if it's already done. And I'm going to keep on dancing until the breakthrough manifests in my life. And the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. So when the praises come up, the blessings come down. And as your praise goes up, God comes down, and he shows up in your life and fights your battles for you. Your praise will cause God to go before you and make your crooked places straight and your rough places smooth. And this reminds me of a man in the Bible by the name of David. When he was going through some problems in his life, he encouraged himself in the Lord and did a little dance before God. And he danced because he knew that God was in control. He knew that God would move on his behalf. But his very own wife looked at him and said, What are you doing that for? Why are you dancing? You look foolish. And in life, when we go through some difficulties, the enemy will try to tell us, what are you praising God for? Why are you dancing? Do you really think your praise is going to do anything? But David said in effect, I don't think that my praise will work. I know it will work because I serve a supernatural God. I serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he will move on my behalf. And it amazes me how Jesus was able to feed thousands of people with some bread and fish. But when David danced before God, God blessed him with so much provision that he was able to feed an entire nation. In Psalm 150 verse 6 says, To let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So if you have breath in your body, you ought to be dancing. If you have breath in your body, you ought to be praising. And remember, That when you praise Him, when you sing songs of joy and dance before Him, it makes a difference in the supernatural realm. 
and your praise will precede the victory. So no matter what you're facing today, just learn to praise your way out because your victory is in your praise.